Some of these tools can be the most basic access stories and some of these the most complicated. Some is hardware and some is software. But all of these make my life as a full-time filmmaker so much easier and enjoyable. Since I implemented every single one of these tools within my workflow as a filmmaker, these things have made my life so much easier. And I'm not just talking about a monitor or a plug. I'm also talking about software. Little tools that can make your pre-production, production or post-production that much easier. So this is what we're talking about in this video. Just a bunch of things that I think every filmmaker should have from a filmmaker's perspective. I've been shooting videos for the past eight plus years and I only just started using some of these. Well, some of these are used for ages, but my life as a filmmaker has got that much better every single time I found one of these tools. So let's dive right into it. Let's start from the most simple one. This is a tiny little screw thingy that has both a big attachment for the tripod, for example, to screw in the tripod or gimbal plate, but also has a smaller one that helps me tie little knots and stuff like that. I think everybody should have something like this in the camera bag because you always need it. And aside from this, I also has a flat one, which takes away the stress of having a coin on you when you need, you know, something that it doesn't have that attachment. We started from the most simple one and now we're gonna jump right into the most complicated but most useful one. This, it's a game changer from Freewell. They literally sent me this maybe a week and a half ago. And uh, it is a storage slash reader for SD cards. And you can hold every single SD card ever made pretty much as well as read a CFA, CFB, SD and TF. So you can read and store all of your cards right here. And it comes with a little cable that tucks in here with a USB-C, which is game changer. Instead of bringing a bunch of adapters around, all you're gonna need this little guy. Super easy, I absolutely love that. Now for the next two, we're gonna move away from anything hardware, we're gonna move into software. So let me get my laptop right here. This, you're looking at it right now, this is frame set. This is the best friend that any pre-production filmmaker should use. This is a game changer because you can literally type up here anything you like. Let's type in surf sunset, for example. This is gonna search every single movie, every single commercial pretty much ever made, and they're gonna find every frame referenced right here. Look at this. And then you can even right click here. You can save to a set. You can look at it full screen. You can color match, similar search, which is something game changing because for example, I want to shoot something, let's say like this one. We're gonna go into similar search and frame set will find every single shot which is very similar to what we just clicked on. On the left hand side, you can also filter by color. You can filter by saturation, contrast, by shot type, interior, exteriors, composition. There is so many settings you can set to find your ideal shots to then use into your pre-production shot list, which is something I use all the time. You can even take a shot of your own and then use that shot as a reference. And then frame set will find everything similar to that shot. So I definitely recommend to test this out. And everything we're talking about today, everything I'm mentioning, it's linked down below. Frame set, it's free. You have, I think, 10 searches a day for free, which is amazing because even if you don't want to pay for it right away, you can test it out, you can try, you can still use it up to 10 searches a day and it can still be useful even for free. Now you got all of your frames, all of your still shots and you want to start pre-production. What do you do? You go into Milano. This is a shoot that I recently did here in Bali and uh, I needed a bit of reference, I needed a bit of idea. So when I did, I went into frame set and then I got a bunch of stills and ideas and then I pretty much wrote down a quick shot list just to get a bit more of a visualization of the shoot that I was gonna do. And I put them down 
all of them right here. Some of them are stills from the videos they send me as a reference. Some of them are renders. Some of them are frame set. And I just love Milanote to pretty much take my pre-production visualization to the next level. Moving back into objects, physical stuff that every filmmaker should have in 2024. This is a very stupid one, maybe, maybe not, but investing on MacBook adapters for every single country, if you're a travel filmmaker, will change your life. Because I used to have only just a travel adapter and the MacBook charger is known for being super heavy and super unstable on chargers. And it happened to me way too many times that I would go into an airport or into whatever, into even a plane. And I want to use my MacBook for a long period of time. So obviously the battery runs out and I need something else. And I forgot to turn off the screen recording. I need something else. So yeah, this little adapters from Apple are game changing. And if you have a Mac and if you're traveling a lot, you need to have it. And let's move on to this thing that I recently integrated into my lifestyle and has literally changed the way I charge my phone. So this is from Nightcore and it's the SCL10. It is mostly just a pocket light, but it also acts as a power adapter, which means that I can just keep this into my camera bag and if I need extra lighting, I can use it. Or if I need extra battery for my phone, which this is an iPhone 13 mini and it's exactly exactly the same size. So it's, it's very tiny, it's very light and it's a very powerful light. If I turn it on, it's 10%. Look at this, I'm gonna put it to 100%. You're probably not gonna see anything right now, but yeah, it's, well, it's a very, powerful light so it can act as a light and as a power charger charger remote portable charger <laughs> so yeah this is game changing and i literally use it every night to charge my phone next to my bed and every time i go out to shoot i bring it with me so totally recommend that moving on to the last two items and then we have one more software so this is the samsung t7 shield these things I would say are unbreakable and resistible to everything. And I recently switched all of my storage to the T7 Shield because I care by my footage and I don't want to lose anything. I store a lot of stuff still on hard drives because I have a lot of footage, but storing on this little guy over here, it's definitely game changing. It's stupid fast and it's portable, it's tiny and you can't break. So get a T7 Shield. This is a one terabyte, I believe. Yeah, one terabyte. They're a bit more expensive than the T7 and the T5, but a few, you know, a few dollars more and you're guaranteed to not lose your footage. So it's a pretty good deal, if you ask me. Let's move into the last piece of software that I'm using on an actually daily basis and I'm using right now, which is Notion. As you see right here, I have my tools every filmmaker needs in 2024. This specific video, I didn't want to, you know, pre-write or anything. I kind of wanted to just go with the flow and talk about every single piece of gear, every single tool that I use in a very normal and chilled way. But usually here, it's an example of my video and I would just write my script, write my hook, write my tumble and stuff like that. I use Notion every single day. It is my go-to for my daily task list that I have to write down. It is my go-to with pre-production with clients. I make my visual pre-production on Milanote. I put it into a PDF and then I put it into Notion and I share with a client and they can add notes, they can add whatever they want. So Notion to me, it's a game changer and it's something that I use every single day. And I think if you want to organize and have, you know, a bit of a view over everything you're doing, I think it's you know, it's something you should definitely consider integrating into your filmmaking portfolio, if you, if you will. Moving on to the last tool. This is a bit silly. It's a monitor. So, um, 
this specific one I wouldn't say is the best monitor it is a bit heavy and the battery there runs it's pretty heavy especially for the amount of energy he runs through because it is a very bright one and shooting in Bali and I shoot a lot outside I really wanted something super bright so this is the field word uh, f5 pro x which is um, it doesn't say anywhere I think no but I think it's something like 4000 nits which is super bright I can always see everything I want on this monitor so it's pretty insane the only thing that it's a bit heavy in the battery is a bit heavy but aside from that this made me a better filmmaker because being able to see properly what you're shooting all the time especially if you're like me and you like shooting with vintage or cine lenses it's very important to focus to the millimeter even this video is like this specific video i am not using a monitor because it's right here obviously but shooting this video without a monitor and focusing pre-focusing on myself with a cine lens which is a t1.9 it's very tricky because if i move forward i'm out of focus and if i move backwards now i'm probably out of focus too. so i gotta find the sweet spot where my eyes are in focus and i kind of can't move but i really like the smooth look of cine lenses so i chose to just shoot with them all the time and this little guy helps me a lot so we got to the end of this video i think these little tools are some of the most important tools into a filmmaker's life in 2024 so you can check all the links down below hope this will help you in the future and leave a like and subscribe if you find this interesting because we need to get to 10k love you guys thank you for sticking around and i'll see you in the next one bye Woo, we're going surfing